Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It's Candy here from sweetstamper.com. That is my online handle. And that's where my blog is at sweetstamper.com. And that's where you can find all my class information and shop with me and all kinds of fun things. I share a lot of projects on there. I participate in blog hops. Hey, Margaret, I'm glad you're here with me today. I am just getting my computer lined up to make sure that I'm going to see the same things that you're going to see. And let's see. Okay, I think I'm on straight. Oh, Facebook is telling me stuff. I'm right in the middle and Facebook starts yakking at me, <laughs> telling me stuff. I'm like, oh, please tell me I'm not facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's really not very fun. Okay, I think we are ready to roll. So this is my newest card class. Actually, this is my card club. So this is my twist club um, for November. And I just filmed it today. Hey, Jackie, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for sharing, Margaret. I appreciate that so much. So this is my cards with a twist. Also, twist club for November. I'm super excited because this is a brand new product and it will be available November 1. As demonstrators, of course, we were able to get it early and I have been doing super fun uh, designing with it. And so with this class, you get everything you need to make these eight cards. You do get the envelopes. I always include envelopes with my classes. I'm like, well, you're going to mail the, you want to mail the cards. You get a full roll of the Evening Evergreen um, woven ribbon. You get a full package of these iridescent pearls basic jewels. These are really pretty. They are very iridescent. You get a half a package of this gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper. So I'm showing you the front and back of each page so that you can see exactly what you get. And this does include shipping. Now, if you're part of my Twist Club, all this comes to you for $39. It is a subscription. If you prefer to just do it as a class, it's $42. When you do the club, when you've done it for six months in a row, you do get a bonus um, goodie bag of $25 uh, and $25 in value. <laughs> I give you products and goodies of $25 in value. And I also put a little extra, uh, a little extra project in, um, just a cute little, like a tag, pillow gift, something like that in with your club packet. So it does save you money to be part of Twist Club, and uh, but you can, if you don't wanna be part of club and you just wanna do the class um, method, then you can certainly do that. Now, both of those come with PDF tutorial. Now, my computer is hung, so hopefully I'm still broadcasting. Oh yeah, okay, good, good stuff. Now, let's get into tonight. I haven't done this in a while, but I am going to do an online card class with you. So what that means is I'm going to show you three projects. I'm going to demonstrate three projects for you. We're going to make them up. And then if you would like to get these packets, you can get these for free when you place a $35 order with my host code. So this is my host code. And um, if you would like to bump your order up to $50, you'll get a package of these sequins and gems along with it, which I'm using on two of the three projects. So my projects tonight are all about embossing folders. So hello, Kim, and thank you very much for sharing. Um, now, before I move on, I did wanna say the other thing is, got lots of fun things for you this month. Throughout this month and November, I'm doing giveaways. And so Jackie here, is she, they probably haven't gone out till this week, but she gets a set of free project pack, set of four free project packets for sharing. So when you share, your name does go into a drawing. And the drawing for this particular um, video is for a free embossing folder. And I'm gonna be demonstrating that one in a minute. So, okay, here we go. We are going to start with a really cute Christmas card Super quick and easy. If you are doing a lot of Christmas cards, uh, like I do a lot of Christmas cards, this would be a great one for mass producing. I have a thick basic white um, card base. Now, I've done the embossing folder. I've done with the whimsical trees. Love, love, love this folder. It is so cute. At first, I thought, do we really need more 
Christmas trees. The, uh, the artwork on this, it's aptly named Whimsical, and it just is so pretty. So this um, embossing, I've done this with regular white. This is with thick whisper, basic white. It used to be called whisper white. And that is because this is the same weight as our regular cardstock. This is lighter weight designed for layering. Both will equally take um, your, um, your ink really, really well. So this is what your project packet comes with if you, you know, if you choose to get these for free. Now, I did use, this is all the elements I'm using for this card. Plus, I'm bringing in cottage wreaths. I have to tell you, I love, love, love these greetings. There's so many fun things you can do with these. But I love the greetings on this. I love the fonts on them. I love the size of them. And I have used the heck out of this Merry Christmas. So um, let's go ahead. We're going to, this is a monochromatic card. It's all melon mambo and white. And I am going to pull in my trusty little, um, mat, my little cushion mat, and I'm just going to ink this up with Melon Mambo, and this is a bright, it, it's kind of what we used to call hot pink, but it's a really nice shade. It's a little bit red with the pink. Let's see, haha, <laughs> I did well. Isn't that a gorgeous little tag? That little tag, that little stitched Oval has been an absolute favorite, and believe it or not, it comes from, um, here we go, I'll show it to you. This is the mini pocket envelope, and I had shown you guys how to do this, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago when I did my virtual farmer's market. That little guy, right, the tags in this are awesome. I actually love every part of the mini pocket envelope, and it is item number 159167, and this is a $29 uh die set. So yeah, you get that and one other little item and you get the project packets from tonight for free. Okay, here we go. Focus candy. Now, what I'm going to do before I go any farther is I am going to clean my stamp and put it away because I have a bad habit of not doing that. And then I have, you know, a work surface that looks like an explosion when I'm done. I will say, you know, I'm enjoying, this is my new time and I've been doing uh, Facebook Live at this new time for the whole month of October. And I'm really liking it a lot. I'm open to feedback, but so far I've gotten really positive feedback from everybody. And um, it's just working really well for me. Now, anytime I am putting down uh, layers that have embossing on them, I always use the liquid glue. I find that even though this is my probably my favorite for, for layers. Um, sometimes it will catch if you have a really heavily embossed um, piece. So I just automatically reach for my liquid glue. And the other thing is I try to get it just, I use it sparingly, but I do try to get it into the corners because I find that when you have embossed paper, sometimes, you know, the corners want to raise up and it's just not an attractive look. So I'm going to pop this here. Welcome, Debbie from Vermont. We are happy to have you join us for a little evening crafting. Hope you guys have had a good day. I've had a, it's been a busy day, but it's been a good day. And I managed to cook some really good Chinese food for dinner tonight. So we had um, my grocery store had chicken thighs on sale this week. So I thought, okay, well, that's going to be, that's going to be dinner for probably two nights. So I stir fried some veggies. We had chicken thighs that were baked with lots of soy sauce and a little bit of rice. And then we had, um, I did spaghetti squash and um, folded it into the stir fried veggies with the sauce and it was so yummy. Now I wanna tell you, this is a beautiful design and I want to give credit where credit is due. One of my helpers is Pat Works, and she designed this. We were uh, working up here one day, and I said, okay, Pat, I need another card for card class. What do you think about this? I actually had a swap, and it was kind of similar, but not. Well, actually, it was blue. It was totally 
The only similar thing was it had this embossing folder. And I thought, yeah, it's just, it needs something. So she reworked it and I absolutely love the clean look of this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that is right there. Now these, I don't know if you've gotten into these yet. These are the adhesive back sequins and gems. Um, I featured these in one of my classes and I love, love, love. You see how these are kind of purpley and these are kind of greeny? And they're just super fun to use. I really like them a lot. They are self-adhesive, which is my favorite way to use a, um, a sequin. Hey, Corinne, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for sharing. Now, let me just reiterate that if you have not already, you're going to want to share my video because all the way through, um, all the way through till next week, till on Wednesday, we'll do the drawing. You, your name will be put into a drawing for a free embossing folder. I'm going to be mailing the embossing folder that I'm sharing next. So isn't that just crisp and clean? And I love it. I love pink in a Christmas card anyway. So it's very fresh. It's very modern, very stylish. Boom. It's going to mail for a single stamp very easily. So that is my first project. Quick and easy Christmas card. Here is your um, host code. So if you want to receive all three projects for free by mail, um, you place a $35 order at that uh, host code, and I'll send you the projects for free. Now, this is only good from tonight through till the 31st, which I believe is Monday. Okay, let's go to our second card. And, oh, before I do, I was um, playing with designs. This is the same embossing folder. So let me, oh, no, this is the one I'm doing next. Never mind. <laughs> well, let me introduce my second card to you. This is the leaf embossing folder, and this it's called Leaf Fall. This is the embossing folder I'm giving away for free to someone whose name I will draw from those who share. Now, when you share the, the video here, you do have to write shared in the comments so I know that you shared it. And um, this, so this embossing folder here, um, Nancy, that's a great question and welcome. This is called Leaf Fall. And the first one I used is called um, Whimsical Trees. Now, let me just show you the embossing folders. Um, oh, it's actually called Whimsical Wonderland. So that's this one. And these are both six inch. Now, this leaf fall is an interesting one. Because it is, you know, it looks like the leaves are falling. So if you use a small piece, you can get all the leaves in there. If you use a, a larger piece, which I'm doing on my next card, then I'll show you it looks like they're falling. And so it's aptly named. So that's just another idea for you. Uh, and I am featuring embossing folders on my blog at sweetstamper.com all week. So all week, it's all about embossing folders. So yeah, Jackie, I love this as a really simple card. Thank you for sharing, Nancy. I appreciate that. Okay, let's go with our second card. And this is the way that your project packet comes. And you can see here, this is, um, <laughs> this is, ay, ay, ay. This is the one, this is soft succulent. Wow, I just totally blanked out. This is soft succulent, absolutely gorgeous. And look how nice it looks on mint macaron. So they're slightly different and they make a nice con kind of a soft contrast. And so this is how the leaf fall. So you can see, I'm gonna be putting my piece right here that's gonna have the greeting and a little bit of stamping, but you can also do it this way and it just looks cool. You don't have to cover this blank spot up. It looks cool because everything is falling down over it. Okay, here we go. So we'll do just a little bit of stamping here. Now this, we're gonna do something a little bit different tonight because I'm missing something. So we are going to use this outline leaf. This is uh, the next two cards. I'm using Season of Chic. And this has excellent greetings as well as lots of really cool um, images that could be used all year because you've got a snowflake, you've got leaves, you've got seashells and flowers, you've got a little bit of everything. Now I know I'm gonna use that next. I didn't get these. 
I was so busy cooking dinner, I didn't get these uh, mounted, and I usually get these mounted before I start so you don't have to listen to the crackling paper on camera. Okay, now let's get our trusty little folder, not folder, little foam mat in here again. Let me grab three blocks and get this right side up. Now, we are first of all going to stamp the leaf, and I'm going to use Cajun Craze. So this is my color scheme, Mint Macaron, Shaded, ah, Soft Succulent, and Cajun Craze. This is going to be, again, kind of a modern look to a, um, a card that is going to be just perfect for what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to take this Cajun Craze. Isn't that a gorgeous kind of outline stamp uh, leaf? I'm going to take my blending blender, ah, blender pen, and I'm going to bleed out some of the color here, like so. Isn't that kind of a really cool little technique? And you just want to use soft strokes, just light. And each time you pull, you have to go into where the ink is and you pull it out. Now, I need to clear my pen, so let me do that over here. Now, this is going to be the tricky part. It's actually not tricky. It's tricky because my soft succulent ink pad is at one of my helper's houses because she is working on some cards for me. So I wanted to do this in soft succulent and my ink pad is not here. So let's see what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to do something fun because that is just what we do. And it also is a little bit of an instruction for you. So what I'm going to do, let me grab a big block. You just, I'm going to I'm going to make a little ink pad. Will that fit like, like that? I kind of, yeah, there we go. I'm going to make a little ink pad. So what I'm going to do, because I don't have my ink pad with me, I'm going to take a baby wipe. And you could actually just use like a foam plate. You could use a regular plate. I just want something that's not, that's not porous at all. And I'm just using a little baby wipe that I got from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I want to make a little ink pad because I do have the ink refill, but I don't have my ink pad because it's at Pat's house because she's working on making a whole bunch of cards for me. So I have a corporate card order. Some of y'all know that I do these corporate Christmas cards. Now let's just see. Okay, let's see how we're going to do. I haven't done this in a long time, so we'll see if it's going to backfire or if it's going to go great. Because you know what? I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty much a functional girl. Oh yeah, look at there. So I'm going to figure out a way to work it. I'm resourceful, so I'm like, okay, I've got ink. I just don't have my ink pad. So I think it actually looks kind of cool because it ends up having a little bit of a watercolor look because my ink pad was quite, not, not my ink pad, my little homemade ink pad was very wet because it, I used a baby wipe. But it honestly kind of looks cool with that. At least that's what I'm going to go with. Let me know if you, you know, if you ever don't have an ink pad and you do have a refill, that is one way to make it work. Now, once again, I'm going to use my liquid uh glue and get pretty close to the edges, but not where it's going to splodge. I don't want it to, you know, it's really unattractive if your glue kind of seeps through the edge because it ends up being shiny and tacky, not tacky like um, uncouth, but tacky like it's tacked, tacky to your hands. So this is going to go here. And we're going to put this right across the top. So let's put, this is soft succulent. 
satin ribbon and we're just going to open the card. Now, I find that when you open your card and you run ribbon around it like this, it looks really luxurious. Extra so with this satin ribbon because it's just a gorgeous ribbon. So that is going to be tied. Ay, it got away from me. I want to put that there because I want the tension in my knot. I don't want a super soft sloppy knot. I want a nice tight one like that. Now when you open the card, see how that looks so pretty in there when you have that you have that satin going all the way through. Now I do need my ribbon scissors here. Now y'all know that if you have ribbon scissors, you keep them separate from your paper scissors. So those of us who grew up sewing know that paper will really dull your ribbon scissors. So you want to make sure that you're not adding that, um, not using them incorrectly. So what I do is I always put a piece of ribbon on my ribbon scissors and that way I can tell them apart from my scissors I'm going to use for paper. Now I'm going to take three of these um, dimensionals and pop up my little art piece, because it's not just a greeting, it actually has um, a little bit of stamping there. Now I'm going to take, look at that. Now I could put it right on top, and that looks kind of cool, but I'm actually gonna pop it right over here and just have it coming through like that. Now let me show you another little trick. I'm full of tips and tricks tonight. Let me find, I'm looking for my, ay, 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 I'm looking for my silicone mat. I have like three of them in here. Can I find one? Ha ha, yes, I can. So let me show you another fun trick for using your silicone mat. So what I'm gonna do is I want to put some glue on here and I don't want it to be messy. So I'm actually gonna use my seal and I'm just gonna tap it a little bit. And what's gonna happen is my silicone mat resists it. So it really just kind of gives me a little bit like so. And you know what, I can even bend it. I kinda like that. Now, this is my thinking of you. And what I did was, is there a way to sharpen the snips? You know, that's a great question, Corinne. There actually is. You can actually take these either to a professional um, scissor sharpener, knife sharpener. Usually people who sharpen knives sharpen scissors as well. You can also buy the, um, I think it's Black & Decker makes a little scissor sharpener that you can use. So that will definitely, the other thing I like to do, honestly, I think I think these snips are still $10. I love to just treat myself to a fresh new pair. So, you know, that's the other way to do it. And if I do that, then these end up going in the box for the grandkids or they go into the box where I'm not needing something super sharp. So like where I'm opening mail or something like that. So yes, they will sharpen, but that's the other thing you can do. Now, because I originally, when I was designing this, I, I cut out two, but you see, it's a little bit too much. I think it kind of overpowers everything. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this and we're gonna fluff up the inside of our card because we can. Now that popped through just a little bit. So that, when you open the card, not only do you have the luxury of that piece of ribbon, but you have that pretty copper die cut as well. So that is thinking of you. Now we're not totally done because we're gonna come back in here with these sequins and look at these pretty little guys right here. So let's just take, isn't that lovely? I think it's really pretty. I love the colors in this. This is an unexpected color scheme to me, but it's actually one that Stampin' Up! provided. I think I'm just gonna do it like that. Thinking of you. Got a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of shine, 
a lot of style, a lot of elegance in a, another simple card that's made really special with the embossing folder. Now, because I have this out, what I'm gonna do, Gail's not here to remind me yet, maybe she'll be on here later, but she always reminds me to stamp the envelope if I have a stamp that works for that. Now, if I was doing just, if I just had a greeting stamp, I would probably need to put some paper on this or something, but I'm just going to stamp this twice and there I have Thinking of You, really nice, elegant card. Okay, let's go to card number three. Remember that you want to share the, the uh, video here to go into my drawing for a free leaf ball embossing folder, the one I just used. And if you want to receive these three card packets in the mail for free, just place a $35 with my host code and that will get them to you for free. Free. Okay, home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Last but not least, and I think you're going to really like this. Let's see. I've used those. I'm still going to need this. And this is my other stamp that I need. And this is also from Seasons of Chic. Wishing you the best birthday ever. And we are going to go with a guy card. I've got a really nice masculine card for you. And I think you're going to love it. I love masculine cards that have texture. And not a lot of bling and not a lot of bows. That's kind of my things for guy cards that I like. So I'm using, this is the way your card packet comes. Look at all the goodies in there. Now you'd only get a few of these, not the whole thing, but that's the way your card packet comes to you. So what we're gonna do, oh, I hope there's, oh yeah, there it is. I actually featured a card on my blog today that uses this exact paper but a totally different design. So we're gonna go with Pear Pizzazz card base and we are going to do a um, landscape orientation. This is the paper from the Happier Than Happy um, suite. And I think it's perfect for fall. Now you could go with this. If you wanted just all green, you can just flip it over and go that way. But I really wanted, um, I wanted those pretty leaves. I love, love, love the acorns. Another one of my favorite fall images. Having said that, to me, there's a lot to love about fall images. Okay, I need to get with the program because I'm running a little farther behind than I intended. Okay, here we go. Now, here is the Rings of Nature. This is actually a... Um, what do you call it? This is a hybrid embossing folder. And I actually featured this in my um, twist class this month. We were doing this exact folder, which is kind of why I had it on the brain. But it, uh, it has a little bit of a learning curve. If you never used hybrid embossing folders before, it has a little bit of a learning curve. But I love, love, love the way it looks. And look at that. I ran it through on vellum. And then I'm backing it with a piece of Mossy Meadow. We're gonna pop that there. Before I do that, I'm gonna take a piece of Early Espresso Faux Suede Trim, another great ribbon for guy cards. You know, guy cards, uh, ribbon, you're a little dodgy sometimes because they can look a little bit too feminine, but this is a faux suede trim so it feels like suede it's like wrapping a little piece of leather around your card which is perfect for the guys i really really like this well let's see i've got plenty of room here if i can just get my finger under there hey thank you susie for sharing and welcome welcome now don't forget if you're watching the replay you can still get in on my free embossing folder drawing by sharing my video and you can also get in on my free card packets that you can get with a $35 order. They just ha you have to place your order by Monday the 31st because I'm going to close out the host code. The host code allows me to send you some gifts and um, that's when I'm going to get the packets in the mail for you next week. So that's already shaping up really nicely, isn't it? Now we're going to add a little bit of texture. 
you know what? Can I move this up? I really want to move this up a little bit. Am I going to rip the whole thing? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm living dangerously. Ooh, because this is like perfectly tied. So let me just move this down. There we go. I'm going to move this up a little bit so we don't cover up the whole thing. Now it's going to rip my cardstock a little bit, but I, can't, I think I can bump it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now. Now, by the time I add some other things, I think we will be okay. I can always add a little bit more glue at the end if I need it. Okay. Now, oh, you know, originally I did it this way, but I kind of like that because then I'm wanting to see more of that designer series paper. I think I'm going to do that, and I think I'm going to pull it up like that. That's kind of fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, dimensionals on this. Hey, Diane, I'm so glad you are here. Thank you so much for sharing. And welcome, welcome. Susie, I think I thanked you for sharing, but I just want to make sure I did. And I hope that you are doing well, Diane. Diane actually lives in Lubbock, Texas, way up north. But she used to live here in San Antonio. I used to come to my card classes. Back in another day. Boy, it feels like a lifetime ago. But I know you haven't been gone that many. You haven't been gone that long, but you've been gone for a while. So let's see. I think we're going to bring it like this. Let's bring it over a little bit. I'm kind of changing my card. But, you know, that's what we can do. And then look how that is going to add more texture. And then this is going to be my greeting. Oh, I'm liking, I'm liking, yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my stamp with Early Espresso ink. And I'm using, again, this is the Season of Chic. And the fonts on here are really, really nice. And they're very versatile. They can go with guys or gals. Actually, my husband's birthday is next week. And my sister-in-law is coming in to spend a week with us, which is going to be super fun. So I'm already kind of gearing up for that. Okay, here we go. So this is crumb cake cardstock. And I used, this is the stitched rectangles, the smallest one. And I'm just going to back it on a little piece of early espresso so we can see it. And that, oh, I'm liking that. This is a little bit different than my original where I have a, so you'll see in my photo that it's a little bit different, but I really like it. I'm, I'm digging it. Now, I'm gonna, you see, I'm doing what I'm not supposed to do, and that's use the, uh, use the seal on that. But that's okay. I think it's going to be all right. I'm liking that. Okay, here we go. Let's put a, um, I'm going to put a little bit of seal up here in the corner, and then I'm going to put a dimensional down here, because that's the part I need to have raised up to match the um, tree ring that I've got here. Now, you see, this is why I love the tree ring, the rings of nature. You see what great guy cards it makes for us? Oh, now do I want it here or do I want it over here? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm kind of liking that. There we go. Lots of texture for a guy card with that vellum. It looks really cool. And then we have another one there. And when you open it, we have this. So you could ha you have lots of room inside to place your, your birthday message. Now, the last but not least, you know what? I think I was going to use these. I think I still will. I could use these. Have a little bit of gold. No. These are the ones that are part of this suite, the happier than happy. And I do, these are really good for guy cards, these rustic metallic. So let's see what we can do here. Let's put one here. The big one and then we're going to put one here a small one and then another one up here and that is going to give see it's not bling but it's a little bit they almost look like rusty nails or something nail heads I don't know I like them a lot so that's my masculine um, birthday card then we have a thinking of ay 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 look what I did oh candy Lord have mercy. You know what? This got left in my basket. So I will be recreating that. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that's, that's kind of crummy. But you know what? All I have to do is lift this off and the rest will be okay. 
So don't look at that. Look at my original photo. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And then don't forget we had that really cute Christmas card. And here it is. And let me see. This is the embossing folder I'm giving away. Let me pull up my card that I wrecked with the with a wet baby wipe. This is the one I'm giving away when you share. So three different embossing folders, Leaf Fall, Whimsical Wonderland, and Rings of Nature. And you can get these three project packets. This is the way they come. And these are ready to go, ready to be mailed to you. And those are free with a $35 order using my host code. If you place a $50 order, I'm going to add in these gorgeous, here they are. These are the ones I used on the first two cards, these gorgeous adhesive back sequins and gems. And I'm also giving away this embossing folder to some lucky winner of my drawing when you share my video. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back here live with you next Thursday at 7 p.m. Again, I love to hear your feedback. If 7 p.m. is working well for you, it's working great for me. I've been at 4 o'clock for a long time. But this is working really well for me. And um, I hope you like my online card class and like my drawings where I'm continuing to give freebies with every one of my Facebook lives. Thank you so much for sharing, Pat. I appreciate it ever so much. And I'm glad you like the cards, Jackie and Margaret. I appreciate that so very much. And Corinne as well. So thank you. And um, I will be sharing um, some projects on my blog all week. I say all week, like from Thursday to next Wednesday. Uh, featuring embossing folders. So be sure to, if you haven't already, you know, my sweetstamper.com blog, you can actually subscribe to my blog so that you don't miss any of the posts, but I will be there. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Take care and God bless.